isn't that this isn't your fault. I brought this devastation into your life. Please forgive me, Carmelita. I mean, if it wasn't for God's help, you, you'd be dead right now. I would do anything for you, Pilar. But you must now look after yourself and your family. Get out of harmony before Juanita finds you. She wants your blood. Even Paloma, the little tart, has two men running after her right now. I tell you, if you cut into anyone in that family, sex, not blood, would drip out. <laughs> I doubt that. Oh, listen to me carry on. Oh, I'm gossiping about the neighbors like some old biddy over the garden fence. The Lopez Fitzgeralds have been very good to me on occasion. Well, don't worry. I won't breathe a word to anyone. So when can I move in? You really want to live in harmony? Yes. More than anything. I don't get it. <laughs> this town is going to hell in a hand bucket, literally. I don't know why anyone would want to move to Harmony now. Well, I can't think of anywhere else in the world I would rather be. I can move in any time. Tonight, even. You sure you wouldn't rather live in Castleton? Now, that's a charming little town. No. I must live in Harmony. Well, I don't have room for another border. Oh. Please, this is such a large house. Surely you have room for one more border. I don't think you understand, Mrs. Hernandez. Harmony isn't a very healthy place to live right now. I, I don't think anyone should be moving here. No offense, but you certainly aren't very welcoming. Sounds as if you don't want to live here either. Honestly, I don't. I've lived here for many, many years, but I am ready to move on. Well, uh, then here's an idea. Why don't you sell your house to me? That way we both get what we want. I get to live in harmony and you get to move away. <laughs> <laughs> 